Why, hello again everybody. Today I need to explain arrays in PHP. Think of an array as a special type of variable which can hold more than one value at a time. In my example, I have four different variables. Food one, food two, food three, food four. We have an apple, orange, banana, coconut. It can be very inconvenient to have to work with so many variables. It would be really nice if I could store all of these values in one place, which is what we can do with an array. Let's delete these variables. We will create a special type of variable, which is an array. To create an array, you'll need a variable name to begin with. Let's say foods. Foods equals, to create an array, type array, add a set of parentheses, then the semicolon at the end. This is a function, which we'll discuss more in the future. Whatever values you're going to squeeze into this variable, just place them within the parentheses. We had four variables, apple, orange, banana, coconut. Separate all of your values with a comma. There we go. We now have what appears to be a variable, but it's technically an array. It stores more than one value in one convenient place. If I was to echo my array, which I named foods, this is what happens. Warning, array to string conversion. We can't directly print this array. Instead, you would need to access one of the elements. An element is a given position within an array. Currently, we have four elements because there's four values. To access one of the elements found within your array, after the array name, add a set of square brackets then an element number. With arrays, the first element has an index of zero. I would like the first element within my array, so the element is going to be zero. That will display apple, which is the first element in my array. Let's do this with the others for practice. Let's echo foods at index one. I should probably add a line break, so let me do some string concatenation real quick. I'll add a line break. Do that here as well. We have apple, orange. Let's do this with the others. Foods at index two is banana. Foods at index three, that would be coconut. What if I attempt to access an element that doesn't exist? We only have four elements. If I access our array foods at index four, well then, we have a warning. Undefined array, key four. That is something you do need to pay attention to. If you need to display all of the elements of an array, there's an easier way of doing this instead of echoing every single element line by line. We can use a for each loop. For each, add a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. For each, take your array, foods, as now what we need is a temporary name for each element within the array my personal naming convention if i'm accessing a single element within an array i like to take the array name and set the variable name to be the singular version if we're working with foods well each element is considered a food for every food in foods if we were working with different values, let's say cars, my for each loop may be for every car in cars. But that's just my naming convention. So within this for each loop, I will echo each food. Then I'll add a break line. Okay, let's see what happens. Here are all the elements in our array. To display all of the elements in your array, a convenient way to do so is to use a for each loop. There are a lot of useful utilities related to arrays. To change one of the elements of an array, type the name of the array, then we'll list an index number. I would like to change the first element in this array to be a pineapple. Type the name of the array, followed by a set of square brackets. The first element in my array is zero. I will set that to equal a new value. Foods at index zero is now a pineapple. Pineapple, orange, banana, coconut. 
There is a push function which will add a new element to the end of your array. Array underscore push function. Within the set of parentheses, type in the name of your array, comma, then a value. At the end of my array, I would like to add a pineapple. Apple, orange, banana, coconut, pineapple. You can add more than one value too. Let's add a kiwi as well. Apple, orange, banana, coconut, pineapple, kiwi. That is the array push function. You can add one or more elements to the end of your array after you create one. Then we have the pop function, array underscore pop. Pop will remove the last element in your array. Place your array name within the set of parentheses. Array pop foods. Now we have apple, orange, banana. Our last element, coconut, was removed. Then we have shift, array underscore shift. Shift will remove the first element in your array. Then shift all of the elements over by one. Within the set of parentheses, list your array name. We now have an orange, banana, coconut. Our apple was removed. It was shifted, shifted out of the array. We can reverse an array. Array underscore reverse. Place your array name within the set of parentheses. Now this isn't gonna work. I'll explain why. Our array is still in the same order. Apple, orange, banana, coconut. This function returns a new array. We can assign the result to a new array, such as reversed foods equals the array reverse function. Then I could display this. Our array is now reversed. Coconut, banana, orange, apple. Otherwise, the array that's returned, we can reassign it to the same array, which is what I'll do. That does the same thing, if you would rather reuse the same array. That is how to reverse an array. We can count the elements in an array. I will echo, use the count function, place your array name within the function. Let me cut this real quick. We have four elements within our array. Use the count function to get the current number of elements within your array. All right, everybody, so that's an array. Think of it as a special type of variable that can hold more than one value at a time. It's a convenient way to store multiple values that are similar or related in place of creating many different variables. It's a lot easier to work with an array than several variables. And well, everybody, those are arrays in PHP.